With the rise of AI alongside with the advancements in tech, it's getting harder and harder to keep up with the computational power that comes with it. When new LLMs drop with insane parameter sizes, we can't even get a chance to use it as the compute to have it operational on a local computer is just impossible. For example, the compute needed to host a Llama 70 billion parameter model on your computer would require you to have 2 to 6 80 GB GPUs, meaning that you would need to have at least two GeForce RTX 4090s, and that would cost roughly around 3,200 USD without tax. Now, this is definitely very pricey for the average large language model user or any sort of user in the AI space who wouldn't have the compute needed to host something like this locally. But luckily, we have cloud GPU services like HyperStack, you have RunPod, as well as Lambda. Now, these are different GPU providers that are letting you run any large language model from 0.5 billion parameters all the way up to 70 billion parameters using cloud GPUs that are provided from these different providers. Now, I had made a video showcasing this further in detail, and I'll leave it in the description below where I showcase how you can run any sort of large language model on the cloud with HyperStack. And this is something that I truly recommend that you take a look at as I showcase how HyperStack is one of the best cloud providers in terms of letting you use any sort of GPU that's provided within their services. And it's one of my favorites because it lets you own your virtual machine. It lets you operate it and optimize it everything down from the servers the network and to the platform itself now there's many other great options like runpod as we mentioned there's also lambda and throughout today's video i'm going to be showcasing the comparison of all of these services so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you different cloud GPU providers that are best fitted for any sort of AI use case. Now, we're going to be comparing it with all of these different cloud providers and showcasing you my favorite pick, which is HyperStack. And the reason why I really love this is because it stands out for its exceptional performance in AI. Now, I'm going to be showcasing you particularly why I am choosing this over these other options. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Now, in my last video, I was showcasing how you can run any large language model on cloud GPUs using HyperStack as well as using text generation web UI. And I found it to be very easier in terms of deploying that model with hyperstack whereas when i was using it with runpod it was a little bit laggier and it was kind of hard to navigate certain things whereas when i was using it with hyperstack it was a little bit easier and which was why i was able to favor this over runpod in general but one thing i want to talk about a little bit more is the benefits of cloud GPU that are provided with HyperStack. In this case, you're going to be able to receive superior performance with NVIDIA's GPUs that are provided within HyperStack. And this is why I tend to love it more because of the exceptional pricing that is provided with these GPUs. You're able to use it in various use cases. And you can see that there's many different use cases of using cloud GPUs for AI. For example, you can have it so that it's used for mastering deep learning as well as neural networks, where you can use cloud GPU services like HyperStack to facilitate the mastery of this. And this is by accelerating AI training. You can enable scalable inference for complex models, and this will lead to highly accurate AI models while you're using these GPUs. You're able to use it for elevating AI training, where you can use a HyperStack GPU service so that it can use its platform to enable swift training processes. You can have faster experimentation, rapid enhancements of AI models, and provide researchers or developers who are using your model with efficient tools to iterate and improve their model even further. And this is by using these accelerated GPUs that are provided with these services. You have real-time inference, you have handling of massive data, and it's able to handle a large amount of data 
you have influxes of data that could be absorbed with these GPUs. And this is the great thing about these providers because it lets you run each and every aspect of what you want with the large language model on their GPU, which will, like I would say, lighten the blow for you. Now, I'm going to be basing my comparison on five different criterias. Firstly, we're going to talk about the performance and the scalability. We're going to talk a little bit more about the ease of use. For example, RunPod just is a little bit easier to use for the average AI user who wants to deploy their cloud models. So it's a little bit easier for them to operate their virtual machine. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the, on the cost effectiveness by taking a look at the pricing structures. I'm going to go over the community support as well as the specialized features that each of these models provide. Now, firstly, I want to talk a little bit more about the performance and the scalability. And this is where I prefer HyperStack's ability to do this because HyperStack is known for its superior performance, especially with the NVIDIA GPUs. They're partnered with them and they're able to offer high scalability. It's basically a little bit more suitable for large scale AI products or tasks in terms of using these models. And you can see that it's usable in various cases in different industries where you would want to use an AI task at scale. For example, using it in finance, education, yeah, manufacturing, as well as healthcare. Not only is it restricted to this, but you can use it for daily use cases as well. And they're able to provide the best of the best GPUs, which are used in scaling as well as used in various capabilities. Now, if we are to take a look at RumPod's GPUs, now they're providing a lot of different competitive performance as well as scalability in terms of the GPU usage, but it's not able to match the performance levels of Lambda as well as HyperStack in terms of the GPU usage. Now, if you are to go over to Lambda, they have a lot of different high performance computing resources, but they have limitations in terms of its scalability, which is why I was able to prefer HyperStack as they're able to provide the best of the best NVIDIA GPUs. And whereas if you are to compare it with Lambda as well as RunPod, it's not able to actually do so. Now, let's take a look at the ease of use as well as flexibility. Now, all three of these platforms provide amazing UIs, which are easy to use and it allows different users to own and operate different sorts of virtual machines. For example, if we take a look at RunPod, which is probably the leading one in this category, it's able to offer this user-friendly interface and it's quite straightforward to set up the processes and it's suitable for users who prioritize ease of use. For example, if you're someone new and you want to deploy a model that's super small and you just don't have the compute to do it on your local computer, you'd want to use something like this so you can get the process running a little bit faster. But for the people who demand like a little bit more flexibility in terms of optimizing their server configuration, you'd want to use something like HyperStack because you're able to do this. You're able to work with the firewalls, you're able to deploy with the different configurations and you're able to optimize it for whatever server or network that you want. And this is providing a high degree of control and flexibility. Now, if you are to take a look at Lambda's control panel or the UI, it's a platform that provides a platform as a service approach. And this is simplifying the deployment management of AI. But then again, there's less customization compared to RunPod and HyperStack, which is why I would even perform or prefer RunPod as the best in this use case. But obviously, if you're going to go for more customization, you would want to use HyperStack. Now, one cool thing I was able to see is that all three of these providers are able to provide a competitive package in terms of the pricing. And this is just great to see as you're able to see that they're providing on-demand GPU cloud pricing at flexible rates in each like platform. Now, one thing I noticed is that with HyperStack, you're able to see that it's able to offer the top-notch GPUs, whereas the other platforms aren't. And this is why you can see that there's a higher cost due to the, its focus on providing on-premise GPU resources, which is why you might see that certain like GPUs might be a little bit more expensive, but you can see that it is quite relative in terms of the industry standard in terms of its pricing. And I was able to see that HyperStack is able to offer a good price at scale in comparison to these other platforms. Now, if you are to take a look at RumPod, it offers a competitive pricing, and I believe that it makes it a cost-effective approach for users who are looking for reliable cloud GPU services without breaking the bank. So this could be something that many of us 
who do not have the resources to run larger models at a larger pricing structure, this would be a, a good option. Now, if you are to take a look at Lambda, it's known for its pay per use pricing model. And this is where you're able to edit the cost effective use case. And this is more specific on AI workloads. And this is where you would only have to pay for the resources as you consume it. So this could be useful for some people who do not know what they're going to be using their model for. Same with HyperStack as you pay as you go. And in this case, I believe that HyperStack is a great option for people who want to explore scaling their model at a cheaper price. Using RumPod would be for people who do not want to break the bank. And lastly, if you do not know what you're working with and if you want to scale your AI product with a cloud GPU service, you would want to use Lambda for this case because it would help you a little bit more understand the specific workloads of AI GPU costing. Now, let's take a look at the community and support section of the comparison. Now, I was able to see that HyperStack provides a really, really cool approach as to how you're able to get comprehensive documentation as well as different active support channels. I was able to use their blogs as well as their support a little bit easier in comparison to RunPod because they have a rel reliable growing community in which I was able to talk to their devs as well as their users on the Discord, which helped me understand how I can use their platform a little bit better. And there's a lot of videos already on YouTube which showcase how you can run certain things. And I even created my own video on it, which showcases how you can do so. Now, in terms of using RunPod, for example, they're able to provide reliable customer support as any other service provider would, but the community may not be as extensive as Lambda as well as, as HyperStack. Now, I was able to go into the Lambda Discord and I was able to see that they offer a dedicated support just like HyperStack is able to do. And I believe that both of them are great, but there's less resources in terms of different tutorials in video format as well as different blog posts showcasing their resources. Now, let's take a look at the last section, which is specialized features. We're going to be starting off with HyperStack. And in my opinion, this one stands out with the best focus on AI acceleration and optimization. They have many products on this and they use the latest GPUs for it. There's various solutions to it. You can use it in rendering, machine learning, deep learning, as well as other use cases. And they're able to provide this specialized feature where it's tailored for AI workloads at scale. Whereas the other providers aren't able to do this, which is why I prefer this GPU provider a little bit more than the other ones. Now I was looking at RunPod and it is offering a range of different cloud computing services. But one thing I saw is that it's limited to just AI services, whereas Lambda is open to providing it to a huge scope, just like how HyperStack is doing, where you have different solutions and different use cases of their cloud GPU service. For example, if you're not going to be using it for LLM computing, you can use it in other use cases where you can host a server for data analytical tasks, as well as other reasons why you would use a cloud computing service. So this is why I see a limitation with RunPod in terms of using their service, but it's still a great computing service for AI and it makes it suitable for users with diverse or not diverse, but for different diverse computing needs in AI. Lastly, for the specialized features that Lambda provides, it's known for its serverless computing capabilities, meaning that you're allowed to focus on developing AI applications without worrying about managing infrastructure. So this could be a little bit easier for focusing on your GPUs that are on demand, and this will help you in your development of different AI models. Now, as my final opinion, I believe that HyperStack is my favorite cloud GPU service. Not saying that these other providers are bad, but it stands a little bit out for me in particular cases where it's able to deliver outstanding performances and it offers a high level of customization with this platform, which is why I love to use it and host different large language models with their cloud platform. I was able to set up my virtual machine within five minutes, whereas with these other platforms, it took me a little bit longer. But we can see that its focus on AI acceleration is perfect for my use cases. And for tasks like rapid model training, as well as real-time inference, it's able to do really good with it because of the powerful like models as well as the GPUs that it's able to handle. 
Now, what I love the most about this is that you're able to get more like flexibility as well as more configuration with your models. I'm able to fine tune everything from the server settings and you're able to use their network configuration to suit whatever needs that I want. And I believe that this is definitely my favorite option. And if you're interested, I have lots of videos on it in the description below. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that video link in the description below. But that's basically my opinion. I definitely think the HyperStack is the best cloud GPU service that's out there. And I truly recommend that you take a look at it. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some sort of idea as to which cloud computing GPU is best for you. Definitely take a look at all of them because they're all amazing in their own specific use case. But I truly believe that HyperStack is the best one that's out there. And I truly recommend that you get started with it. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of idea as to what you should do. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news as well as getting subscriptions to complete or sorry, to get subscriptions for AI tools which are completely for free. So if you're interested in that, take a look at this link in the description below. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. It's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, boss.